The Boruto anime is going on hiatus, which is a rumor that has been roaming around the internet for the past couple of days now. According to some very reliable Boruto leakers within the fandom, such as Abdul, Kev, Jack, and Wolf, many of these guys who have information to insider sources have said that the Boruto anime may go on break. Now this isn't confirmed, I want you guys to take it with a grain of salt, we need more further details in order to confirm whether the anime is actually going on hiatus, but with the fact that there has been some speculation coming from very reliable leakers who have given very useful information from the past when it comes to the anime and manga it shows you that yeah the boruto anime might actually go on break now the boruto anime recently has begun its code arc adaptation from the boruto manga into the boruto anime for all the people who are panicking right now don't worry we will get the adaptation of the code arc into the boruto anime right now they aren't just randomly stopping the anime adaptation they're going to continue it for at least the next two to three months so don't worry about that we will get to see the battle against code when it comes to boruto and kawaki fighting and their karma seals together so don't worry about that man we're gonna get some peak fiction within the next couple of months we're gonna get some well animated battles and just good content overall when it comes to the anime in the coming months however after the code arc adaptation is done whether they adapt the entire thing to the latest chapter or they split the arc in half there has been some speculations and rumors that the anime might actually go on break and this isn't because the anime has been doing bad or sales wise but but the production and the health and schedule when it comes to creating this anime has been pretty piss poor. When it comes to the Boruto anime, if you've been following it for a while now, you would know that the anime is pretty inconsistent when it comes to delivering content. At least when it comes to the manga, we know what they're fully capable of. We've seen some of the best animation out of Studio Period when it comes to adapting, especially the bigger fights within the Boruto anime. Episodes like episode 65, 189, 192, 217, episodes like that, we have seen what Period is fully capable capable of and when it comes to manga content they basically do not miss however when it comes to the anime canon content the anime original stuff those episodes are designated for more freelance animators who have less experience and for the past year it's been pretty clear that the anime has been suffering from pretty poor production and an unhealthy schedule i mean many animators have come out and complained in the past year that they haven't had time to actually animate some of their scenes correctly and they had to rush out some of their work just to get the episodes out and there was even some free freelance animators who were saying that they were working till the very last minute up until the episode dropped which shows you that when it comes to the schedule for the Boruto anime it seems pretty unhealthy from an outsider's perspective now i'm not an animator i'm not a leaker i don't have insider sources i don't animate the Boruto anime but as a fan of this series and as a content creator as well it's important to address something like this while i'm not a news source guy i don't really talk about Boruto news like that i think it's important to address the elephant in the room with the fact that the production behind the Boruto anime at least in the past year hasn't been that good i mean we know how well the boruto anime is when it comes to the adaptation of the manga they do deliver consistently we have seen some pretty inconsistent frames and scenes from the boruto anime in the past year even with the latest episode boruto episode 287 being released this past sunday there has been some freelance animators that have complained about the production schedule and how horrible it was and this is a problem that not just the boruto anime has been suffering from for the past year or so but this is a problem that the animation industry has been suffering for many years as a matter of fact. I'm not an animator but as someone who is in college I have wrote some research papers about the animation industry specifically when it comes to studios like Studio Mappa and Studio Wits. They are notorious for overworking their animators and with the fact that many freelance animators are hired on the spot and with the animation industry not really paying the animators much money a lot of these animators are overworked to hell just to get a below average product out. And this isn't just when it comes to Boruto but for for many animes in general. Even with seasonal animes like Attack on Titan for example, many of these animators at other studios have faced tight deadlines, poor production schedules, and low pay in general and this is a problem that the anime industry has been facing for the past couple of decades. People have tried to fix it, it's been ongoing and in the latest Boruto episode we've seen some freelancers complain about the production schedule. Now when it comes to the code arc it is confirmed that they have been working on this arc since October so it has been at least 4 months since they have been working on this arc and the one thing i gotta say man when it comes to the anime in general the best way to make an episode look good is time i hate when people throw around the term budget the one thing that people don't really understand that i feel like anime fans just don't understand in general is that for an episode to look good it isn't the budget that factors in but it's the time to animate something well you need time i think a perfect example of this is when you look at the best looking episodes in the boruto anime episodes like boruto episode 65 189 217 
mean, episodes like that take months to create. So, I mean, even episode 65, which is a recreation of the Momoshiki fight from the Boruto movie, they recreated that entire fight, changed Momoshiki's design into the manga format, and if I'm not mistaken, they've spent about five to six months just making that episode alone. Same thing goes for episode 189. The reason why that episode looks so fantastic and not just animation but in terms of art style which imitated the exact manga art style from the manga. They took about at least a couple months to produce an episode like that. We know what the Boruto anime is fully capable of. We've seen some episodes have some crazy sexy art and animation but when it comes to the production this isn't consistent. We've seen the highs and we've seen the lows and the lows are pretty bad and with Boruto episode 287 if you've been on social media people have been slandering this episode due to the Naruto frame I do agree Naruto looks kind of janky here he's built like a Skyrim elf but with that being said the episode overall in my honest opinion looked pretty damn good consistently the art looked well and the animation looked pretty solid I wasn't expecting episode 189 animation of course this was just an introductory episode into the code arc to introduce the likes of Ko and Ada and show off the threats and how powerful they are it is isn't anything crazy and in my opinion it looked pretty well done and with the fact that one of the leakers I don't know if it was Jack or Kev I'll throw their tweet on the screen they've been working on the Kodak since October and the reason why it looks so good at least the first episode which I'm expecting the art style will stay consistent for the rest of this arc is because they've had time to make these episodes having more time will allow these animators to make these episodes look better considering that this is a weekly anime seasonal animes also struggle with the production specifically with animes like Attack on Titan for example I know Studio Mappa has improved their quality from part 1 to part 2 when it comes to the final season but creating anime is very hard. Drawing frames and creating the animation together, drawing the correct color palette from the manga, it's very very difficult and I just feel like a lot of anime fans don't really understand the process. I'm not an animator myself but I just hate when anime fans throw around the term budget so loosely. It's not the fact that budget makes an anime episode look good but time. Like I said the reason why the best Boruto episodes look so good and well done in terms of art style animation and character acting is because these episodes took months to create and not every episode in the Boruto anime is gonna have that same care and production in terms of how much time these animators are having. And like I said with the latest episode Boruto episode 287, even though I think the latest episode did look pretty damn good, one of the animators did come out on Twitter and say that the production schedule even with the latest episode has been pretty horrible. I mean the Osuzuki god panel which many of the Boruto fandom has been looking forward to when it comes to adapting it into the anime, many people wanted to see that adapt adapted into the anime to see if the eyes behind the god are Jogan, Byakugan, or another dojutsu. And while the panel was well animated, I think they did a great job of it. According to the person who did animate the scene of the Osasuki god, they only had 15 minutes to create this cut. Which when it comes to production, that's horrible. That's bad. Having only 15 minutes to create something this detailed is very, very difficult. I mean, it shows you that the scheduling for the production is pretty poor. This is something that I've been noticing when it comes to watching the anime in the past year. While I'm not the biggest stickler when it comes to art and animation, outside of the crazy fights because we know what Studio Period is fully capable of when it comes to the fights, when it comes to the regular run of the mill episodes, I really don't expect the craziest animation. It's normal. This has been a problem in the past year. Cuts where Boruto and Kawaki look kind of clapped. Sometimes they fight and instead of actually showing the fight, they just show the sky. This was shown multiple times last year during the Boruto anime, especially during the Funato arc. It was pretty clear that they were having production scheduling issues and as a fan of this series, it's pretty disheartening to hear. It's kind of sad. I, I really want to see this anime thrive and succeed but when it comes to the production behind this anime, the fact that reliable leakers are saying that there has been some speculation and rumors that the anime might go on break due to the production scheduling to fix that up hey man I'm all for it while I do understand the process behind anime canon I definitely do think it's very useful and it elaborates on many of the side characters that do not play much of a role in the main storyline now that Boruto and Kawaki are Osasuki they can't be fighting pirates and random ninja now currently in the code arc they are the strongest characters in the series and it'd be kind of forced and dumb in my opinion more ninja and more threats that really aren't on the level of the Osasuki to fight Boruto and Kawaki 
It's kind of random in my opinion, considering that Boruto has access to Momoshiki's karma and he has his own powers. Kawaki in the manga as well. He has access to Ishiki's abilities. It would be very, very contrived if once the code arc is finished being adapted into the Boruto anime, they jump into an anime canon arc like the Funato arc where they're fighting pirates and other ninja that really aren't on the level of the Osusuki. I think actually taking a break and taking a step back for the Boruto anime is a positive thing. I mean, Boruto fans have been asking for this for a while. After seeing the unhealthy schedule and production from last year, at least seeing the final product of the anime, it's pretty clear that the anime production has been pretty unhealthy. And as a fan of the series, I want the series to do well. I want the anime to do well, I want the manga to do well. And I think actually taking a step back in order for the anime to thrive and succeed, I think that's a good thing. This will allow the anime to look much more consistent. The last thing I want is for the Boruto anime to become like 7 Deadly Sins season 2 and 3. That's the last thing I want. Studio Period definitely has some very talented animators and freelance animators that they have hired in the past but if the anime is willing to take a break and to take a step back in order to fix their scheduling and production, I'm all for it man. One thing I kind of want, I, I think people agree with me on this, is that I want the anime to look good. I want the anime to look consistent. And like I said, I'm not asking for the Boruto anime to have every episode look like episode 65 or 189, but it just shows you that they're willing to improve this series. And heading into the future of this series, I'm hoping that if they're going to have more anime original content, I'm hoping that they plan it out more. Considering the fact that now that Boruto and Kawaki have become full Osusuki, it's pretty clear that they can't just introduce more shinobi and random side characters to fight Boruto and Kawaki. Power scaling wise and just plot convenience wise, it'd be incredibly contrived to introduce random characters in anime original arcs to fight Boruto and Kawaki and even the main cast. If they're going to continue to do anime canon arcs, I hope that they plan it out more. Maybe introduce more Osusuki that are anime exclusive like like Urishiki, however, more Osasuki that are handled with better care because I'm not gonna lie, Urishiki was pretty dog shit. But with the fact that if the Boruto anime is gonna go on break with the idea of improving the production schedule and handling the anime original stuff better, I think this is the perfect step into the right direction when it comes to the future of this anime because we know what the anime is capable of. We've seen the highs, we've seen the damn lows, and I just wanna see this series thrive and succeed. As a content creator, I think it's important to really get my thoughts on this even if they do go on break i doubt that it's going to be something like bleach if you've watched the bleach anime you would know that after they finished the full bring arc back in 2012 they took a 10 year break between the full bring arc and the thousand year blood war arc in the manga and only as of recent after literally 10 years they decided to bring the bleach anime back if the boruto anime is going to go on break i highly doubt that they're going to take 10 years to bring back the rest of the anime considering the fact that in my personal opinion I definitely do think the code arc is the last arc pre time skip. With the fact that Ikimoto dropped new time skip designs last month, it shows you that yeah, the series is prepping to go into a jump in time. And with Boruto and Kawaki becoming pure Osasuki, Naruto being sealed away in the latest chapter, it's pretty clear that they're definitely going into that time skip very soon. And in my opinion, I think the anime is trying to catch up to the manga where once they do finish adapting the code arc, they may as well just take a break. I mean, Naruto gets sealed away in the latest chapter, and once the anime does get to adapt that chapter, I highly doubt if they were to follow up with anime canon, it's gonna be some Mickey Mouse stuff. In my opinion, if the Boruto anime were to go on break, I think the perfect stopping point would be when Kawaki seals away Naruto, and that's in the latest chapter, Boruto chapter 77. If they just continue to go ahead and adapt everything from now until the latest chapter I think the perfect stopping point is chapter 77. When it comes to going on a break, like I said, I doubt it'd go on for 10 years. You've seen animes made by Studio Period go on breaks before. Like I said with Bleach, going on break for literally 10 years for a decade. God damn, Bleach fans, I understand, man. Like, that, that's tough. I'm, I ain't gonna lie. Waiting 10 years to get your anime back? Yeah, I'm glad y'all eaten. But even with Black Clover, Black Clover at the end of March of 2021, they did go on break. And they're still on break for the past two years. And after the Black Clover anime, went on break the anime did announce that they are going to drop a movie that i think is actually dropping this month so they've had at least a couple years to create this movie and i imagine that once they do release this movie they're going to resume adapting the black clover anime when it comes to boruto i definitely do think if they're going to go on break at the bare minimum they're going to go on break for a couple months and i think at the latest if they're going to go on break for a very long time 
it's going to be at most two to three years. I would say three year break at most. I know that sounds like a long time, but if the code arc is the last arc to Boruto part one pre time skip, if the manga is go ahead and jump into the time skip, I think this will allow the anime room to breathe so by the time that the anime does come back into the time skip they will have plenty of content potentially years of time skip content to adapt into the boruto anime i know short term wise it seems pretty bad but this doesn't mean that the boruto anime is cancelled we're still gonna get content regardless so i do want to say don't worry if the anime does go on break which is still a rumor take it with a grain of salt the anime will not be cancelled i know a lot of people are gonna slander boruto like that but at the end of the day do not worry if the anime does go on hiatus it's for the better of the anime to improve the production scheduling and how the animators work because they've been facing some tighter deadlines and you can see it pretty clearly within the past year of the boruto anime so let me know how you guys feel about the boruto anime in the comment section below do you think that this anime will go on hiatus very soon in my opinion if they were to go on break it would be after the code arc is done being adapted i don't know if they're going to split the code arc into two once they get to a certain point in my opinion i think the anime will catch up to the point where kawaki seals naruto away in boruto chapter 77 and then go on break if the boruto anime were to go on break i think that's the perfect stopping point but let me know how you guys feel about this video in the comment section below like i said the boruto anime will not be cancelled it's not getting cancelled the series is still ongoing and even if the anime does go on break the manga is still here we're still getting manga content every month and in my opinion i think the anime is prepping for the time skip and so is the manga so let me know how you guys feel about all of this in the comment section below i do want to tell you that even though there are rumors about this take this with a grain of salt and we'll get some more information in the coming months whether if the anime will continue post code arc or if they will take a break so if you like this video hit that like button subscribe hit the bell as well and have a good day peace